This is Meldanda, a beautiful place in between Manam and the Barossa Valley. This place will shock you. It is seen from Frisbee Gulf all the way to lakes named after mermaids. I swear, what is here is absolutely stunning. So, this video will be split into a few sections in terms of location. Firstly, the entrance and curly hut. Secondly, car park and campfire. Thirdly, the gardens of Mermaid Lake. And last but not least, the fire retardant garden and Frisbee Gulf. So, firstly, the entrance and curly hut. The way the community enters is via the Muldanda Community Bush Gardens, which features a large majority of plants that are native to the area. The garden was started as a project back in 2006 and has been described as a botanical garden. Also in the garden is the curly hut. The curly hut was a project built recently by the older students at the local school. The hut was built to have a place to do outdoor education, but this wasn't used much. It was named after the curly bird. They are a group of birds of nine species and they have long beaks. There is a custom built curly bird right outside the hut as well as some other birds. There is an information board right outside for visitors to learn more. After entering the driveway to Modena, you will find the butterfly garden. The butterfly garden was to create an area that will help butterflies. There are specific food and plants that are good for butterflies to sustain themselves. The thing interests most, though, are the fake mosaic butterflies made by the local school. Next is Bat Island. As you can probably tell by its name, this island is home to bats. This is where Meldanda employees monitor the 10 species of bats at 30 habitat boxes attached to 6 red gum trees, 5 boxes per tree. Before entering the car park, you will walk through the Marne River. This river flows through Meldanda as close to Bush Gardens and Bat Island from the rest of Meldanda. Secondly, the campfire area. Before entering the main campfire area, you will have to walk through the car park. In the middle is a huge tree which catches everybody's attention. By taking some paths, you'll end up at the main centre point. There is a campfire surrounded by some logs that are commonly used as seats. Here are some proper benches which are also used to sit at. There are also two sheds, one furnished with a kitchen and the others used for barbecues and other things. Here are also some toilets and a large chessboard for entertainment purposes. Also near here is a hut structure made of sticks but it is quite small. A volleyball court to, well, play volleyball at. An old platform that used to have bush tucker and a gate that takes you to the mermaid lake. By continuing to follow the main path, you will end up at the Mermaid Lake and Surrounds. Firstly, the garden. This garden features indigenous plants as lots of hollow logs that are home to multiple types of species like possums and birds. In this garden also has the bush tucker, which is an indigenous tradition. Continue following the path and you find Mermaid Lake and the Bird Lookout. First off, the Bird Lookout. In my opinion, this is one of the best spots in Meldanda. In the Bird Lookout, you get a fantastic view of Mermaid Lake and it's just really chill. Now, Mermaid Lake. The Mermaid Lake is a semi-permanent lake that has a jetty going into it. There are certain things in the Mermaid Lake, like custom made swing, there is a specific tree that is quite easy to climb on, and also all the space is just run around. Also near here is the frog pond. The frog pond is used as an environment that is suitable for frogs and butterflies here. There are some information boards all around Moldanda, but one of which is at the pond. It lists some details about certain frogs. Here is also the Frog Pond Lookout, which gives a good view of the Frog Pond and the Fire Retirement Garden, which is up next. Lastly, the Fire Retirement Garden and the Frisbee Golf. At Meldanda, there is a garden with plants that can withstand fire. It's a small area, but it has many plants. Then there is Frisbee Golf. All around Meldanda are some Frisbee Golf assets. If you don't know what Frisbee Golf is, just say, I don't know either. Basically, it's just a game where you throw a frisbee and you just get into these chains. So, are you convinced yet? If you live in the area near Mildanda, I would highly recommend exploring it because it is truly beautiful. Everything from the bush gardens to the animal awareness is fantastic. It is one of the wonders of South Australia. Yeah.